Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be doing a time lapse and we're going to be taking a look at the barometric pressure view on the Casio ProTrek PRG240. This is module 3246, as well as the CAC City SPV710 wash. Now, a lot of people know about the Casio ProTrek. There's not a whole lot of people that know about the CAC City. This watch you can get on Amazon for about 60 bucks. And a lot of these watches on Amazon that are that cheap are a little bit sketchy, but this watch I actually find to be very good for the price. It's got some positives that I like over the Casio, and then obviously the Casio has some positives over the CAC City SPV710. Both of them do show a 24-hour barometric pressure trend uh, graph up here. You can see this one on the CAC City, and then you can see the same thing on the uh, Casio ProTrek. The thing that's kind of cool about the CAC City is I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. It also shows a weather forecaster over here on the right. So basically, when it compares your barometric pressure, it looks and it basically tells you whether or not your weather conditions are going to be good or cloudy or rainy. And surprisingly, this is extremely accurate for me. It also shows a uh, line graph here of the last six hours of barometric pressure. This is something you find on other watches like the uh, Sunto Core or the Garmin Instinct, so on and so forth. Those are some pretty cool features that you don't get on the Casio Pro Trek. The other thing that I like about the CAC City is you can keep the temperature on your main time display at all times, and the graph for the barometric pressure trend is a whole lot bigger than that of the Casio ProTrek. The positive over the Casio ProTrek is one that it's solar power, so you never have to worry about the battery. The other thing is when we go into the barometer screen on both of them, on the CAC City, it will only stay in your barometric pressure view for a few minutes. When you go on the Casio, it will stay in there for a couple of hours. But you can see the readings are very similar. Uh, 1,003 hectopascals on the Casio ProTrek, 999.8 on the CAC City. That's another benefit of the CAC City is you actually get it in decimal point. So anyway, I'm not saying one's better than the other, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna leave them in this mode. We're gonna do a time lapse and we're gonna take a look at the barometric pressure trend graph on both of them. And we're gonna watch how it adjusts throughout the day.